So basically, ladies and gentlemen, when we're doing the fourth root, remember when we're looking at simplifying radical expressions, remember the fourth root is just saying what number multiplied by itself four times, right? And so basically what we looked at was, you know, we, there's two different ways we can do this. We could use the factor tree by breaking down the problem, 8 times 2, 4 times 2, and 2 times 2. And if we break down the problem into prime factors, we could say that the fourth root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And then they say, what number multiplied by itself four times? Well, you guys can see that 2 is being multiplied by itself two four, um, four times. So the fourth root of 16 is just 2. Now, we could also do x squared, or x to the 12th as x times x times x 12 times. But why do we want to write it out that many times, right? The best thing that I like to do for these is we could also write it as x squared times x squared times x squared. Um, and when we, even if we did it this method, how many times would I have to multiply x squared by itself to get to x to the 12th? Well, 2, 4, 6. I'd have to do it 6 times. Do you guys agree with me that x squared times 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 x squared is the same thing as x to the 12th? Yes? Um, and you can take the square. You, um, oh, I'm sorry. Actually, what am I doing to the 4? I'm doing to the square root. That makes no sense. The whole purpose, the reason why I was doing the x, the x squared, I'll explain it to them in the next problem. But ladies and gentlemen, if we're taking the fourth root of something, we, need to take, we can only take the fourth root of an exponent raised to what power? The fourth power. So I'm sorry. I had a little break in my thought. So therefore, I have x to the fourth. Well, how many times do I need to multiply x to the fourth to give me three times? So it would be x to the fourth times x to the fourth times x to the fourth. Now, I can take the fourth root of x to the fourth. Okay. When I take the fourth root of x to the fourth, then what that's going to do is the fourth root of x to the fourth is going to give me x times x times x. Therefore, I have 2x cubed. That's my final answer. <laughs>